Hi everyone, and welcome to Movie Time with Chris, the channel devoted specifically to movies. Movie trailer reactions, movie reviews, movie birthdays, with a few other special videos along the way. If that sounds like something that might pique your interest, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. I just got back from the theater and I just saw Hotel Artemis. I gotta tell you, the last few times I've gone to the theater, it's been these short movies. I mean, I like long movies. You know, it really gives you time with it. Um, build up the characters, get to know a little bit, work on the story. But let me tell you, I saw Upgrade and that movie was about an hour and 35 minutes. Hotel Artemis was also about an hour 30, an hour 35. What an enjoyable movie, a fun movie. And I think it all has to do with the cast. And I mean, I can't remember everyone off the top of my head, so we're gonna go ahead and just read through some of the cast here. We had Jodie Foster, Sterling K. Brown, Sophia Butella, Jeff Goldblum, Zachary Quinto, Charlie Day, Dave Bautista. I mean, this cast, they really delivered on their characters, on the script. I mean, in an hour and a half or less, because you figure credits, they really managed to pull you in and get you to feel for their characters and understand each of their characters. And I mean, hey, there might be some spoilers in this video. Just letting you know right now. So if you haven't seen it, but you wanna see it and you don't want any spoilers, go ahead and back out right now. All right, you've had your chance. I mean, the twist. I, I literally had no idea that that was gonna happen, but boy, the fact that Jeff Goldblum it was responsible for Jodie Foster's son's death. Never saw that coming. Totally went with the fact that he overdosed, and it really affected her, which either way it did. But the fact that Jeff Goldblum is responsible for it. And then he finds Jodie Foster and together they open Hotel Artemis. He's the owner, she's the one that runs it. Wow, wow. And I like the fact that, you know, it's, it's a hotel for all criminals, you know? Criminals are people too. I mean, it's a hospital, sorry. Uh, for criminals, they're people too. Um, not to say they're good people, but they're people. And it kind of gave a, a John Wick feel to it, where John Wick has the Continental, where it's all assassins and there are specific rules that have to be followed, like no business can be conducted on continental grounds. Well, there's a list of rules for Hotel Artemis. And, you know, no guns, no disrespecting the staff, you can't kill other patients. Um, but, you know, it it's like the rules are are essential, which is kind of funny when you figure that they're all criminals and they're the rule breakers. And here they are with this list of rules that they have to follow or they don't get help. And you know, that survival instinct is gonna kick in. So they abide to the rules up until some things just don't go their way or money's involved. 
Um, I think that's all I'm going to say for it. The Jeff Goldblum, Jodie Foster thing was probably the only spoiler, but it built up to this. Um, just with, you know, he's, he's been working with her for 22 years. And she had no idea that he killed her son. What would have happened if she had found out earlier? I mean, we see what happens when she finds out and she almost breaks the rules that she's been abiding by for so long. Even though she kind of breaks the rules. Um, but so enjoyable. Dave Batista, <laughs> you know, his lines in most of his movies, um, with the exception of the 007 Spectre, where he had no lines at all, um, you know, he just delivers them great. Drax the Destroyer, unbelievable comedic performance in those Guardians of the Galaxy movies. He brings that to this movie. His delivering of the lines, just his whole demeanor, everything. Great. Zachary Quinto, only know him from Star Trek as Spock. I mean, I know he comes out on other things, but that's what I know him as. When I see Zachary Quinto, I see Spock. So to see him in this role where, you know, he's the son of the guy who runs the city, you know, like Victor Swede and four brothers, and he's essentially a bad guy, but oh, Jodie Foster, her delivering of, you know, a grieving mother who's just trying to get by and everyone everyone in this movie is absolutely amazing i'm upset that this movie doesn't get the attention that it deserves uh the same with upgrade you know these are great movies they're only an they're less than two hours long less than an hour and 45 minutes long so you could get more showings in more people should be seeing it especially I guess younger kids can't because they're rated R and they need adults because the youth of today has the attention span of, I don't know. I have no idea. The dog from Up? Uh, you know, social media has really killed people's attention span. So movies that are less than two hours should be reeling them in. Even the millennials that, you know, are old enough to see a rated R film. But it's not getting you know, the attention that it deserves. My recommendation, check this movie out. <laughs> okay. Does it have to be seen in theaters? There's only a handful of movies that I would say have to be seen in theaters. Star Wars Episode Three, and any Western. But you should go and check it out. Watch it with a crowd. Everyone gets, you know, enjoyment from it. Everyone's laughing. Everyone's, you know, shocked. <gasps> oh, man. Check this movie out. Trust me, you won't regret it. And most theaters, you know, have those free memberships you can sign up for. AMC Stubbs. Uh... Cinemark Connections. If you're a Stubbs member with AMC, it's only $5 on Tuesdays. Cinemark has Discount Tuesdays, where it's like $5.50. So, wait till a Tuesday. Check the movie out. You won't regret it. You're not going to spend a lot, as long as you don't get concessions. It's well worth it. Trust me on that. But, hey... If you check it out, let me know what you think in the comment section. Or if you have already seen it, 
let me know what you think in the comment section below. As always, you guys can find me on Instagram, simply at Christopher Lafont. If you have any questions, a video you want to see, a topic you want to hear about, go ahead and email me at movietimewithchris at gmail.com. Again, I'm going to check that email multiple times a day, so I won't miss your message. And again, you never know, your question or your topic may end up in a future show. But hey, if you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed the description of what this channel is, go ahead, hit that thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, share the video with your friends, and as always, till next time, take care.